done to our senior cheer members here at Tam High. What a way to kick things off and get our game day festivities underway. All right, everybody, we are back. We are back. Bruce Grant Stadium here to welcome the uh, the Red High, Redwood High football team down here to battle our Tam High red-tailed hawks, joined here by our good friend Scott Dalton. Scotty, what's up? What do you say, John Gregg? Here we are. This is the game that matters. Throw the records out the window. Throw the records out the window. It's right. This is it. It all comes down to this. This is what every senior remembers when they head off to college next year. Oh, there is, there is definitely a bit of electricity in the air. You can feel it. Weather is fantastic. Both, both uh, bleacher sections are filled to the brim. Everybody's put on their Saturday best and uh, can't wait to soak this game in. Yeah, senior day you mentioned, Scotty. That's pretty cool. It's fun for these guys. So here we go. It looks like Tam won the toss and is electing to kick off. Sweet. You'll hear Jason Sturman in the background as well doing the in-stadium announcing. We've got Mike Sun, best producer in the business, running the board for us. And then we've got our man Stephen Chen, like Kronos, keeping track of the time, making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. Right to left on your radio dial, Trevor Koo, calm, cool, and collected Koo is going to Resituate the ball on the tee there. Four points for the word resituate in Scrabble. So Record. the kickoff is always an interesting one with Coach Lamon. See how aggressive he looks to uh, to start this game off. Squib kick down at that middle 30 yard zone or so. No, he went deep. Deep right looks like it's going to go back out to, in high school, the 30? Let's see. If you go out of bounds, I'm thinking it goes to the 30-yard line. Let's see where they place it. 35. 35. So based on our scouting reports, it sounds like this is going to be a game won or lost in the trenches. Redwood has a rookie quarterback in Cody Vasquez, but a very solid runner behind him in Sean Kaneen. Cody steps back, looks out to his right. Complete. Incomplete. incomplete. We have an incomplete, incomplete pass to number awesome. four. We don't have that, but we had Max Armour, number 18, on the cover. All right, let's see who else we got here, fellas. We got DJ Hopkins. Left end, looking to get some pressure there on Cody Vasquez. Caden Berenger lines so here's up. Here's the first run of the Hands game. Hands off to his left end, picks up a yard, yard and a half. Nicely done by Tam defense, swarming the ball. Linebackers were patient and leapt into action. Let's see. So a big play right out of the gates here. Third and eight. Let's see if Tam can get a stop. Let's flip the field. Oscar Armour down here. Lined up against what looks like wide receiver number one. He's backing off now. Jake's there on the left to cover over the top. Looks out to the left. Oh, oh, what an excellent effort. It looks like they got the first down. Whoa. Yep, they're calling it forward. Carter well Bowen, 6'5", 210 tight end. They play him all over, the, all over the place on offense. Something they have him wide receiver in the slot. He also potentially plays DB on defense. So he's a two-way player for Redwood. I think I, he's a returner as well. I don't know if he was in there on the kickoff. You may have noticed. I don't know, Scotty, but... Uh, He's out there. All right, 
Cody in a shotgun here. Back straight away behind. Takes a snap, hands off up the middle. Good play action. So it looks like got back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, a late flag. Well, Leon Tierney I saw go in and make sure that the runner was down. Oh. They're actually calling a face, face mask. mask on Tam. I'll tell you what, a couple weeks ago. Inadvertent, only a five yard penalty. Five yard, yep, five yard. But a little bit of an inauspicious start, right? We get a penalty on the kickoff out of bounds. We, we an inadvertent face mask. A couple weeks ago, we had some good luck with, with penalties. So after a penalty, we'd see some big plays from the Hawks. Let's see if we can bring that, bring that mojo back here. Cody, shotgun set again. Two wide receivers left. Oscar Armour's getting and ready. It looks like motion. We had yeah. uh, encroachment on the defense. Encroachment. All right. Right Ma defensive end, whoever that was. Making it, making gotten, it easy. Let's gotten see. a little jumpy. So now it's first down Their ears inside of Tam territory with the ball on Tam's 45-yard line. So we've already given Redwood 20-plus uh, yards yeah. in penalties. Here we go. Ben, don't break. Lions got their ears pinned back. They want to get some pressure on Cody. Oh, oh. knocked down nicely by number seven. Well done. Mateo, Mateo Pardee. They were, looked like they were going for their tight end again, Carter Bowman. All right, so second and 10. Oscar Armour watching number four. Handoff off to the right. Oh, nicely played Fabulous. by number 65, David Anderson, getting David. through the line. David Anderson. And tackling, tackling Sean Kaneen in the backfield. Third and 11. Tam looks to have settled in to understand the pre-snap pre -snap motions, see what Cody's doing and the, and the team there. Maybe a little big game nerves right there at the beginning of the settled, game. Everyone's starting to settle in a little settled bit. Settled in, doing some breath work, some Reiki. Everybody's getting balanced out there. Let's see what they do to unleash here. Showing five down. Linebacker steps back, Cody Vasquez looks to his left. Oh. Finds an open receiver again in number four. Looks like number 12, Brendan Steinhofer slipped there on the out cut by number four, Walker Jackson, who is considered Redwood's potentially best player, certainly best wide receiver, and another two-way player for Redwood. Here we go, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Familiar set, two split right, two left, one running back behind Cody Vasquez. Hand off to the left. Up the middle, maybe a yard or two before he's pushed back to the line of scrimmage. Sean Kaneen again. Second and nine from the 29 yard line. Redwood taking a minute to uh, get their bearings here. Feels like guys are gonna have, teams are gonna have to take advantage of every trip down the field, so they're in coveted territory here. I think Redwood is very much thinking about time of possession for this game, being able to really control the ball and control the clock. Defensive line trying to get some pressure. Looks like that one sailed a little wide or was overrun on the route there. Incomplete Going pass. to Eddie Lynn, number 82. So again, we're at a big third down play. Third and eight-ish. Third and, third and nine. Yeah, third and nine almost. Here we go. Huge play here. I don't know if we're in four down territory. Time of possession, I think you're right. You know, Redwood knows from the scouting report they want to keep this electric Tam High offense off the field. We hope we see that. Let's see what happens right here. Oh, oh we got bit of some a false motion. start on number 57. Center got a little. Jack McCamey. Third and 
14. So this is a big play here. We want to be able to get Redwood off the field. If they gain eight or nine yards on this, they probably do go for it on fourth down based on field position. And that's what they're thinking. And they're actually airing it out. No, ball looked like it was tipped at the line perhaps. Either way, it was well short of the intended target. Again, going towards Jackson Walker. Fourth down, and it looks like uh, Cody's on the sideline waiting for some instruction. And uh, looks like they're bringing the kicking unit they're out. They're bringing the kicking unit out. Number, what is that, five? So number nine, oh, and number four, Alex Zach, is back, and it's we've got we've got number four again, who's out there, kick. punter Walker Jackson is out there to punt. Is it nine? Excellent punt, that looks wobbly. Like All, right. All right, nice punt, ten yard line. Nice punt by number nine, Alexander Zach. Gets the ball to roll out of the 10 yard line. So Tam's got. Here we go. Braden, Jake, Tavy, Andrew, Locke. So nice job by the defense, bending, not breaking. Redwood controlled the ball for eight minutes. That's a, that is a viable offense out there that Redwood has, and, uh, and Tam High rose to the challenge on the opening drive. Critical, critical. A little misdirection. Looks like that was to number 44, Connor Weisberg. Way to go, Taking Connor. it right up the gut. Here we go, we've got, uh, looks like Timo down here with Tavy. Looks like Tivo, Timo Ural and Tavier on the bottom here. Again, a little uh, a nice pass run. to Connor. Dodge. Yeah, hand off to Connor. Nice run right up the gut. Probably gained another three. Probably third and four or so. Jake Sun comes in to give Connor a breather. Third and four. Tam's got a lot of options here. We'll see what the coach draws up. Let's go. We've got four receivers. Looks like Andrew Gordon and uh, Lachlan split right on your far side. Jake set in motion to the right. Braden looks right. Sees his target. Andrew Gordon Andrew coming Gordon. right over the middle. Met just after he made the catch. Picked up Braden another couple of yards. Five, Somewhere Andrew around Gordon. the 26-yard line, it looks like they're walking it. For a Red Hawks first down. That was a nice play drawn up by Coach Lamond and, and crew. Had a couple guys in motion, had Lachlan running out towards the sideline and then bringing Andrew in across the middle. Let's watch some of the play call. A couple of weeks ago, we noticed at the home game there were just, maybe maybe there's one first down passing play. And uh, let's see what Lamont's program's gonna be today. So a couple of runs and then that pass play here. Screen out to First team. down, out to number 88. That's out to Timo Ural. A nice so little screen play. On cue. Coach Lamont comes out with a passing play on first down to mix it up. Looks like a nine-yard gain, so second and one. Great to see. Uh, it's nice to see them mix it up early. Yeah, absolutely. Keep, keep them on their toes. The offensive line has come together so well this year. Earlier in the year, it was a unit that hadn't played much together before. And, you know, the play calling and the, the change of pace, you know, benefited their, their early success, and they have just continued to follow through. So let's see how the scheme and the execution blend together here. Here comes Andrew, Andrew in Gordon's motion. in motion. Pre-snap whistle. False start. Going to walk it back five yards and pick it up. Second and six. Second and six. A lot of motion on the defensive line here. Jake in the backfield. Andrew Gordon again in motion. Hands it off. Looked like he was going to look upfield to throw. Makes a couple of easy glide moves. Gets himself well out in front of the first down marker to the 39-yard line. Flash Gordon does it again. Really patient there after he got the ball from Braden. Just to, just to take a look. That's why I thought he might even throw. He had a little stutter. Waited for the window. Waited to see his blockers, see how yeah. they were going to pick up the defense. 
Timo and Tavy down here on the tight left. Andrew split solo up right. Check this out. We love this. Not play action. Hand off Jake to Jake. Sun. Oh, Jake here we go. Jake Sun all the way. Jake looks like he's putting on the afterburners. He's going to cut across oh, midfield. Oh, spin move. With a little Madden B button. Nobody's going to stop him getting across the end zone. Unbelievable. What a great run by Jake Sun. He, he felt number 25 beating down on him and still was able to make a cut across the middle with a spin move added on there. Barry Sanders-esque. Absolutely. I don't think that's out of, out, of, out, of, uh, out of the realm of what we just saw. And a great start full, for Tam. Full speed down the sideline. Two defenders to see it stop, turn, and not lose momentum. He had Ronan Zalm, Zame. Trevor Koo, one step away from grabbing him, and that cut back to the middle was all the difference. Ball is back up down, and Trevor again launches it through the center of the uprights. And I'll tell you what, we think about that relatively fast set of downs that took place there. That, that, that was a... So that Tam a, had the ball for two and a half minutes. They were really efficient. We had, uh, we had one you know, illegal motion penalty. Um, but otherwise, the efficiency rating in that opening drive is pretty amazing. Yeah, mixed it up. Good runs, good motion. Mm, that's going to bode well for play action. Continue to. Trevor is awaiting the... Uh, Let's see if Trevor is awaiting. Yep. What the uh, what the mission's going to be here on special teams? How aggressive is Coach going to want to get? How creative is he going to squib kick deep down? Who knows? Let's go, Jake. Fans fired up here for the seniors, the occasion, and the energy, Trevor. Hands up. Special teams ready to rock. Big oh, a nice one. boot again. Trevor sending it back deep into the end zone. Fielded by number four. We're going to hear this Walker, kid's name, Jackson, Jackson Walker. Jackson again. Walker, is that what it is? I'm, I, uh, so we're going to hear his name all day long on Redwood side, or at least they, Redwood hopes to hear his name all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brings up for Redwood first and 10 at their own 20. Jake. So the scouting report thus far is Tam probably a little bit more athletic, a little quicker. Redwood a little bit bigger. And again, goes back to why Redwood is really looking to control the ball and the clock throughout the game. Yep, yep. Our Which was interesting to then see them throw the ball so much in that first, in that first series. Two in motion, handoff over the right edge. Jake shoots down, forces him to change direction. Taken down eventually it's by nice Mateo by Party. And a nice pickup by Sean Kaneen. <laughs> Mateo with great pursuit. Making sure he ended that play where it needed to be ended. Redwood comes out. Cody's sitting in that shotgun formation again. He's got two backs. Which is different than the first series. The first yeah. series they only had one back. And now, well, they just... Two in the back, and then a little motion. Hand off up the middle. They spread it out a little bit. Jake's right there. Looks like Looks Jake. Like and then we had uh, Jake Butler in on the tackle and John Welburn as well. They've got uh, the first down chains moving again here. Here we go. First and 10. The 31 yard line, just about the 31 yard line here. Two back set again. One wide receiver on each side. Two down here on the right. Motion to the right. Screen to the motion screen pass. Man. Looks like there's good coverage out there, but not enough to stop him after he picks up four yards, just about to get to the 35 yard ben line. Ben Jacobs on the reception. Cool to see Coach Lamont here thinking about the offense on the sideline, looking at what happened on that first go around. Okay, back to the business at hand. Defensive line. They can put this on their shoulders right here and give that 
offensive line, a little bit of something to think about. Redwood really mixing things around. They looked either discombobulated or ready to run a trick play. <laughs> I'm going to go with the former. And uh, now motion to the left. Vasquez, quick screen out to the right. Number four, Jackson Walker, met quickly by Brendan Steinhofer. A little high tackle allowed uh, Jackson to get a couple more yards in there. Nicely so done. Leaving, leaving Redwood in a third and long situation. Let's see, Jake. Which is really what Tam is looking for here. Pin the ears back and go after the quarterback. Secondary's got to be ready for this. They're so excited here. Oscar, Brendan, Jake, Caden Berenger. We've got Leon Tierney, the tank in a tank always. He's scoping out over the left edge. He's going to bring some extra pressure around to Cody. Forces him to get it out early. There we go. Nicely that done. Is a, Good tackle. That is a wonderful stop by Matteo Pardee. And helped along by maybe number 34, Wyatt Leach. So we've got... So here we go. Nicely done by Tam. Four and out. Jake back at the 31-yard line. Snap is back. Punt is up. It's good. It's going to hit the turf, take a neutral bounce, and then a couple yards in Redwood's favor down to the 31-yard line. Good starting field position. Redwood had the ball for about three minutes, so here we have two minutes left in the first quarter. More than enough time for Tam to march down the field. And Kaleo Morris and Hayden Perkins, two anchors here on the offensive line to move things around, open up holes, and get it going. Here we go, first and 10 from the 31-yard line. Braden gets the snap. Hand off to running back. Is it Jake or Connor or Ethan? Let's see who we got. Looks like Jake picks up a quick, quick five. I think that mm. second and five. Ethan Koo was that was that one actually. Ethan Koo, the 22. We got the, the two, two and the uh, 22. 22. But right up the middle. So the offensive line is really doing a nice job of op of opening holes up for uh, yeah. the running backs. Again, just off tackle to Ethan, Ethan again, again for a first down. Like clockwork. So this set of downs opening up running the ball. Let's see what happens on this first down. Look for the pattern. Shape recognition. Maybe uh, maybe we go, yeah, a lot of them. Here comes Jake in for Ethan. Ethan's getting a little breather. We've got the clock running. Ball center of the hash marks right where you'd like it at the 41-yard line. Timo and Tavy down here on the left side of the hash marks. And it looks like Andrew Gordon up top. Lachlan. Wouldn't be surprised to see Jake go in motion here. Oh, Lachlan, got Lachlan set in, in motion. motion. Hand off is fake there. Braden's got plenty of time. <gasps> Floated a little bit and led, uh, led Lachlan into some contact there. Yeah, the uh, the outside shoulder play was was probably the play there. That's right. Instead of leading him into the into the teeth of the defense. Yep. More into the center of the field. Yep. Definitely open and another great job by the offensive line to give Braden the time necessary and allow the play to develop. Yep. Agreed. A lot of stuff getting done here. Clock at 110, second and 10 here from the 41. Trips left with Lachlan off the line. Tavy and Timo here with Jake set in motion now. We're heavy on the left. We look left. Braden now back out to the right to Andrew Gordon, who's got wheels. Ooh. So that's a nice 15, 16 yard pickup. Super smooth. A tough assignment for Wilson Schwartz. Out there, one on one, one, one on one on, one on Andrew. Because he can turn on the Jets at any time. Jakey Poo's getting a little bit of a break, and Connor Weisberg's going back in. You know, earlier when you were talking about that outside shoulder throw probably being the play, I don't know about you guys, I could see either, Scott, you or I being able to execute that play ourselves at a high school level. You know, that's something that over time with maturity, it becomes an easier option. Makes sense. Dumps it off to Andrew Gordon coming across inside the screen. middle. Inside screen. Wheels is gone. He's off to the races. There's no one that's going to catch him, folks. Again, Tam is really patient. Really, really patient. And uh, 
a really nice drawn up play by the coach. This the is gonna, inside screen, Andrew Gordon, then just takes it home with the speed, found an opening. Good job downfield by, by the wide receivers and tight ends, staying on their blocks and giving Andrew the opportunity to find space. I really enjoy after these games going back and watching some of the replays, and this is going to be no exception. I want to see that play again. Great scheme, great execution. Redwood was on its heels, and there was tons of space. Trevor Koo continues to do what he do and, uh, and put the pig skin through the uprights. And that took a whopping minute and five seconds off the clock. So two great possessions from Tam to get the first quarter going. Up 14 nothing, exactly where they want to be on senior day. All phases of the ball here. The whole team fired up and dialed in. I'll tell you what, right... Right as that touchdown was being scored, you can look down and see 65, David Anderson, as one of the players on the sideline, working on hand drills, finesse, breaking through arm blocks. These guys are focused. On Shout the out to that hand. offensive line so far. Hayden Perkins, number 77. All right, look, Redwood coming in as seven and two. They have wonderful history of success against Tam High. They're two touchdowns down. Let's see how they follow through here. Trevor Koo, I like it, a little side, little little squib to the, ah, uh, it's through the another, end zone. Another touchback. Okay, touchback again, we like that. So a nice job so far by the offensive line. Jackson Marcus, Kaleo Morris, Hayden Perkins. I know I'm missing a couple, but they've really done a great job opening holes up for the running backs as well as creating time and space for Braden to drop back and make some really important completions in the first quarter. Offensive line is, gosh, solid week in, week out. Right on, Scotty. So we've got Wyatt Leach, Mateo Party, and Leon Tierney, our linebacking crew. They're in there to sniff it out, and they do. Wow. Linebackers, tackles, everyone jumped there. Nice job by number 51, whose name we don't have on our list. We will find out number 51. May have gotten a breather now or no? Right there, in the, right there in the tackle position. Okay. What do we got here? So single set Second and 10. Back. 22 seconds left. Last play of the first quarter coming up here. Handoff straight up the middle. We've got some good speed all around the ball. Linebackers and defensive line. Team tackle there. Again, number seven. Mateo Party, number 51. We'll find out his name at some point. Number 55. John Wellborn was in on the tackle. And that's the end of the first quarter. Here we go. Great first quarter to game plan. I'll tell you what, really like what we're seeing out there, specifically Jake Sun getting loads of time in there at running back. He's been in there before on the slot, but he's, he's been instrumental there. You know, and you got to wonder that that's got to be such a key focus area for the linebackers and the secondary to see what Jake's going to do. That combined with, Scotty, your observation on the offensive line, just hunkering down, hitting their assignments. I'd say really the coaches strong. have to be pretty pleased so far. A couple early penalties. They shook those off. And that's you got you to expect that, and they did. The coaches, you're right, prepared them to say, no matter what, just stay focused. Be a goldfish. And... Uh, Play all four quarters, which Tam does. Tam does. Certainly did here a couple of weeks ago in San Marin against San Marin. Not the outcome we wanted, but I'll tell you what, the effort and the scheme and the attitude were all exemplary. Maybe second time using exemplary today if you're tracking at home. Maybe not. I'm sure we'll, he we'll see it again. Exemplary for sure. It's that kind of a day. Okay. Here we go. 
So Redwood again third back in the ten. single set. Big, third and ten. Big third down back in their own territory. Oscar Armour down here on Jackson yeah, Walker. 34, Wyatt Leach looks like he was about to sneak in. He sees him outside here. Yep. Way to call out Wyatt. Eyes on the ball, anticipated. Nicely done. Wyatt Leach and Matteo Pardee. So again, now puts Redwood into a fourth down, and here comes their punting unit. Fourth down. They're going to punt. Look, the Tam's offense being as efficient as it's been today, you got to make this play. You got you got to you got to throw your punting unit out there, right? If Tam weren't efficient today, maybe you'd say keep the ball and give it a risk. But yeah, inside your your own 30? inside your own 30-yard line, it would be tough to tough to argue that one. Yeah. Let's see here. Jake's back at the 42-yard line. We've got number nine. Snaps back Alex and Zach. good. He's got Looks a floater. Looks like Jake is going to run with a this one. to Jake into the sun. Out to his left. Bounces outside. Oh, and a very nice tackle really? by number 51, Ooh. Wes Ooh, Schultz. Great. Wes Schultz did a nice job on that. Great, uh, you know, open field tackle there. Yeah. Absolutely. He saved, you know, Jake was gone if that tackle didn't happen. Yeah. But I, I like uh, the aggressiveness of Jake there. Yeah, I don't know if I uh, can't believe I'm going to say this. I don't know if I could have made the tackle. <laughs> I don't know if I could have made it, but it is Jake's son. Okay, here we go. First down, tight, tight formation. We are all the way over on the left hash. I feel like this is where you take a shot, right? You're it up 14 nothing. You're on the. You're right on the 50 yard line. Andrews Let's off to the right. Let's do something interesting here. Is that a hand and? Uh, Tavy comes in. A handoff to Tavy coming around the outside. Andrew Gordon was <laughs> playing wide receiver on the right, up on the Brady offensive Brady line practically, Brady and, Brady. and was positioned to make a block there against the defensive end, and he held it off to seal the corner. Great, great mixing it up again here. Tight formation. I mean, the whole formation's changed, right? Now we're up 14. 10 minutes and 50 seconds left, clock running. Uh, now we're into similar territory. We've got Andrew and Tavy down here on the right. Jake in the backfield. No, Ethan Koo. So pick up of two, A couple maybe. Yards. Yeah. Ethan Koo picks up a couple. Going to bring down, bring up uh, third and third and five ish. All right. So let's see what the coach dials up here. We've had a lot of success running the ball inside the tackles. We've, We've had, had some nice success with an outside pass to Andrew Gordon. That kind of cutting across. We had the nice screen. crossing screen yeah. inside. Oh, let's see. Lamont just gave up. Maybe a little audible there. Pretty cool audible. He saw something. Nicely done. Hand right off up right up the, up the middle, middle to Ethan Koo. And Ethan. Braden had a little Aaron Rodgers fake handoff and then the little fake pass. He was jump really, fake pass he was right really there. Going back at work. Ethan uh, Ethan hit that hole really hard. I think First that was concept. done in honor of the uh, Zukavich family from uh, huge Packer fans. Solid. Way to go, Will the Thrill. Braden back looks to his right, down the corner to wide to open is Lach Lachlan, who reaches oh. over the defender and almost gets it back to his own hands. A little tip up there on the sideline. Nicely defended, actually, by Wilson Schwartz. It looked like Locke had him beat deep. The ball might have been slightly underthrown, which allowed him to come back and catch up to, to Locke, but that could have been a touchdown. Offense looking over to the sideline, see what Coach Lamont's got. He likes the play. Nice thing is we're definitely in four down territory here. We've so we know we've got three plays to, to play with in here. The left side of the, uh, the field here is balanced. We got Lachlan, Tavy, and Timo. But we dive straight up the middle with uh, probably oh, Ethan Koo again. Picked up yep. a yard or so. Ball's sitting here at the 36-yard line, 37 right in that range. Flash Gordon split out wide right here. He's got Tavy covering up the middle. Hard not to want to go to Andrew when he's, when he's got one-on-one. -on -one. They're not going to expect the same play, so let's see. Here comes Timo. Fakes the handoff. Oh, Lachlan. Oh, Lachlan lost his step I there. think a little bit of a misread there on... 
on what each other thought they were doing. It looked like maybe Lachlan didn't miss a step. You're right. He, he, thought, he thought he was stopping. and Lachlan looked like yeah. he was coming to, to a, a quick stop. And Braden had him continuing fading out towards the sidelines. Both the options were there, probably. They were both there, probably. So good ideas. Execution next. Fourth and ten. Here comes Jake. Jake's going to come out. So we've as, got a lot of options here. As they don't know. Braden can punt from here, really, to get it down within the 10-yard you know, line. Nope, we're going to go for it. Looks like, looks like a little uh, motion. False start. False start. start. Going to bring it back just a bit. Probably not going to change the mind. Five-yard penalty brings up about fourth and 13. On the flip side of the ball, so to speak, Coach Lamont trusting his defense. He's still going to go for it here. What do you think, Scotty? I don't know. I mean, I think, look, we're 14, we're up 14 nothing. I think there's an argument to try to just pin Redwood let's inside see, their 10-yard line. Let's see if Braden, Braden's not deep enough back, but he might. No, he can't punt it from there. He looks. He's got plenty of room. He's got a blocker and more, but he, did, he ran out of bounds before. Before he got to the yard line to to the marker. He looks I think. like number nine, Braden Young, with the quarterback keeper around the right side. Picked up about thirteen or fourteen, but a little short of a first down. So Coach Lamont's not happy with that decision. First Thinks he may have not seen the indeci not the decision of running with the ball, but running out of bounds right before getting to the to the yard to gain. I think we've missed the yard to gain by maybe a yard Couple or yards two. Or so so. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would have been a, an opportunity where Braden would have had to take some contact for certain, but certainly had the opportunity if had he cut it back at yep. the end of that at the end of that run and to get the first down. And that one's just a matter of uh, you know just a little bit of awareness. That's certainly not Braden running away from contact, but needed to be aware of that. Needed to be aware of that, and that's what coach is going to remind him of. And Braden, quick learner uh, and a student of the game, he gets that. Cody's back. Shotgun, tipped. balls tipped up at the line of scrimmage. Jake's son salivating, but a few tipped yards by out of his grasp. Number 55, maybe? John Wellborn again? Or again, number 51 was in there. Brendan Steinhofer comes in for Ryder Covey. Pass broken up. Result in the Giants, second and 10. Second and 10. John Wellborn here on the right end. David Anderson on the left end. Oscar Armour out here on an island by himself against number f against their best wide receiver, Jackson Walker. A little screen, but boom, who read that nicely? Well done. Number 54, Jake, Jake Butler, Butler at number 34, Wyatt Leach. Both read the play nicely, and so here we are again, third and long for Redwood. Tam's done a great job so far of keeping Redwood in third and long situations third and on ten. almost every one of their series that they've had the ball. Really disciplined. Third and ten on the 31-yard line. Let's see. Snaps back to Cody. He looks middle, looks right, finds his receiver. Well done. All the way out to the 50-yard line. Nice catch by number five, Wilson Passing. Schwartz. Passing number, five, Wilson number six. Schwartz. Oh, number six, sorry. Van Hampton. Six Van Hampton made that one. When do we get our virtual reality, augmented reality glasses that have the numbers on the screen so mm. we know it, but that's coming. Okay, we'll have to talk to Tam Boosters about that. Here we go, 50 yard line, first and 10. Redwood's got a little bit of mojo. Let's see what happens here. Low snap, picked it up, hands off to number 22. Off the right end, cruises out seven yards or so to the 43 yard line, 44 yard line maybe. For a gain of six, results in the Giants' second four. Defense, defense expects to uh, stop that kind of a play from going that far. But, yeah, this is where the defense to needs, to, uh, needs to step up. What we don't want here is Tam having turned the ball over on downs. Redwood with decent field position to start and yep. then marching down the field and scoring and, and making this go. an interesting game. Vasquez looks to his right, mm. picked off. And that is intercepted by number 18, it looks like. Fantastic. Oscar Armour. Fantastic. Oscar Armour with the anticipation, laying himself out, keeping his arms 
underneath the ball. There's no coach's challenge. There's no referee review here in 2023. So that is a wonderful play by Oscar Armour. Changes the momentum. That's what you exactly needed. Exactly what just Cam said, needed. You really. said defense, just talking about that. Defense has got to come through, and they, they did it. They did it. So, so this is where you take your shot. All is right now. Right. Tam High's offense. No, they missed an opportunity on the last go around. Andrews lined up inside. Again, that tight, tight, tight formation. Ball at the 36 yard line. Hand off to Andrew again, patient around the edge. Picks up three or four. Yeah. Probably three, three yards. Similar to what we saw earlier in that, that sort of reverse. Yep. And he just kind of bides his time. Not sure if he's going to toss it or find his, find his blockers. Pick up three yards here on first and second down. See if we got Jake in the backfield yet. We do not. Looks like we have Connor back Connor's there. I think. back there. With Andrew here on the right. Then we take the handoff to Tavy. If he can get bounce outside. Tavy breaks it outside. No flags, no hold. Popped in the back on the sideline. Clean, but hard hit. Oh, there is a flag down. Clean, but hard hit. Flag, they're pointing to the 45-yard line. Holding on the offense, they're going to call. That's a tough one, folks. They're going to happen. Let's see how we bounce back. Be a goldfish. So holding from the spot brings up second and 10, it looks like. Holding Red Hawks, 10-yard penalty. From the place of the foul brings up a second and 10. Too bad. That was a nicely designed play. Really mixing it up here, as we've said. So second and 10. Braden's got Connor in the backfield. Sets Connor in Connor motion to the left. Motion. Oh, number 82 for Redwood. Read that play. All over the dump screen. Eddie Lynn. We've called his name a couple times so far today. I think once on offense, once on defense, but he really read that inside screen nicely. Lachlan was coming a back for it. What do we do? Lose a loss of five yards. Jake's in now for Connor. We got third and third and still 15. Says 10, but it's got to be 15. Yep, there we go. The play is in. The barrel is loaded. Let's see what we can throw out there. So we got Jake. Jake. Ooh, Jake out on an island here by himself with Andrew, Tavy, and Locke split left. Whistle blown before this the looks snap. Looks like a delay of game, maybe. It's going to look like delay of game. It's going to be another five yards. Play, play, play game, five yard so really, so far, the only thing that's really stopped Tam's <laughs> offense <laughs> is themselves. Is themselves. Yeah, agreed. With the, some relatively large penalties. Something I'm sure the coaches will talk about at halftime. Third and 20-ish. Braden steps up. Gets it out to, may have been Andrew, can't tell. Yeah, Andrew out to the 38-yard line. That's actually, looks 37. like that might have been number 88. Is oh, it was, Timo? That's Timo. Looks like Timo right. with the pickup. Good job, Timo. Nice to see the punting unit come out. Trevor is coming out, and I'll tell you, spent some time with Trevor after uh, last week's game, and He's feeling confident, loves his contact with the ball, the way it's coming off his foot. So let's see how this translates to his punting game. Expect good things here. High snap. Trevor confidently picks it up. Bounce. See if we can get a good bounce Good here. bounce our way, a couple few yards still going, down to the 34-yard line, 33-yard line, that neighborhood. All righty. Well... Redwood hung in there uh, a bit, but I think, as you said, Scotty, so a lot of damage, self-inflicted damage there. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Let's see if Tam can get a stop and get the ball back the couple minutes and try to put something together, scoring drive here for the end of the, uh, end of the first half. And I think, uh, if, I, if I recall, we're going to see Tam start out with this, the ball in the second half. That's right. So you're right. Let's just see if we can get the ball back in our hands here. If not... Let's take the rest of this uh, this time and keep 
keep Redwood off the board. Caden Barringer with a hot pursuit, over pursued just a little bit and allowed nice. number three. Oh, nice catch by Carter Bowman. That's their tight end, multifaceted, 6'5", 210-pound junior, I think. What, a, what an assignment that would be, huh? So they pick up the first down. And have a penalty. Have some momentum. And a roughing the passer penalty on, def Didn't on defense. Didn't see that one coming. Hope he's all right. So Redwood just picked up a quick 40 yards between the pass and the penalty. I'll tell you what. I don't know why I feel like Tam's got another turnover coming in him right here. They're ready to rock. Oscar's out here on an island against Jackson Walker. I hope Redwood likes that assignment. And let's watch Oscar go to town. Cody gets the snap. Fake handoff. Oscar. Nicely done by Oscar. Comes right up and hit, hits Ben Jacobs. So a completion of maybe two yards. Good pop. Oscar, uh, Oscar released Jackson Walker when he watched the quarterback's eyes and shoulders align and was quick to jump there. Almost popped the ball out with that hit. Definitely a little bit of a bobble there for sure. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Still looking at uh, second and eight maybe. Oscar tight up on Walker now. A lot of room on the right. Cody airs one out. Flag on Oscar. Catch still made by Jackson Walker. So that was a duck. Bit of a floater. Bit of a floater, floater. up there. Yeah, a we'll duck. Yeah, yeah, for we'll sure. Duck sounds better. We'll give, we'll Cleaner. Give, we'll give Cody the, uh, the benefit of the doubt and call it a floater. Yeah. Uh, but that ball was in the air for a long time. That was, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Ben, don't break. This is the closest that Redwood's been. First quarter, so they were down in the 25-yard range or so. So here we are, first and goal at the five. First and goal at the five. Ooh. I imagine we'll see uh, a healthy uh, serving of Sean Kaneen at this, at, at this juncture. Watch Leon. Jake gets out, gets low, and gets it done. And we've got a holding penalty. It's going to back him up just a little bit. So good confidence and control by the Tam High defense there. And Jake getting to his spot. And uh, added benefit. We're going to move the ball back just a teeny bit here. It's a big penalty for Redwood right there. Kind of kills the momentum a little bit. Swings it in our favor for sure. Having moved the ball down the field so quickly. Two minutes, 44 seconds left. Still 14 nothing. So now here. you're first and goal at the 15. First and goal at the 15. Linebackers in secondary. We got Jackson Walker down here to the near side. Watch this defensive line. And Jake is now, Jake is, oh no, not Jake. That was Wyatt. Jackson coming across the middle, gets it down to the 10 yard line, 11 ish, maybe the 10. Gain of three or four. Good all positive right. yardage play for Redwood right there. Yeah. Not going for it all yep. at this, at, in, one, in one helping. Second, second goal. Gave themselves a chance. Have to imagine 14 nothing that this is four down territory. 100%. Which plays well for Tam if they can get it done. You want that. Tight, tight, tight pressure all around. Four wide outs for Redwood. Oscar's got to get the block off the line here. He does. Nice play. Number six. That's Number good. six, Van Hampton. Van A really Hampton nice again. play by, yep, drawn up by Redwood. The two inside wide receivers went outside, allowing Van Hampton to cut through the middle, leaving the middle fairly open. But it looks like they might be walking it back. Flag on the play. Uh, it's either celebration afterwards or, or it, it seems like it would be late for the play itself. Yeah, it looks like it was a dead ball foul.
All right, so a dead ball foul, unsportsmanlike conduct on Redwood. Tam has chosen to accept the penalty on the kickoff. On the kickoff. Wise, so we should assume decision. that we'll have some uh, some decent field position. Ten-ish yards, maybe. With a minute 37 to go. Ten-ish yards, the maybe, first half. maybe 15. I believe it would be a 15-yard 15 15 penalty. 15-yarder, yeah. So, yeah. Looks like a competent kicker, so the 15 yards could be a challenge for him, but I think you're right. The 15 yards are worth it here on the kickoff. And... Let's see if this line actually wants to do something magical and block an e PAT. Balls up, down, up. It's good. Good by number five, Wilson Schwartz. 14-7, minute lefty. and a half left. A lefty, that's right. I don't see that very often. All righty. Good test here. Minute and a half drill. It's going to be a 15-yard advantage on the kickoff. Have to think we'll have some decent field position and should be able to do something here with a minute and a half to go. We'll see how creative the offensive coordinator and coach decide to be. Yep, the boys are going to start to move up here soon enough. Here we go. Ball's back at the 25-yard line instead of the 40. Here we go. Winding down the first half, a minute 37. Here we go. All phases of the ball. Getting sharp on the sideline here, getting ready for uh, the next two quarters and change. Kick is up. It is it's good going as to be out of deep, bounds. and it's out of bounds. So... I wonder if that's a safe play to make sure that it stays at the 40. That would be interesting if that still gets its same spot. Stop by the snack shack concession stand for all your food and beverage needs. All funds go back to our Tamil Pies High School football players. Thank you for supporting the Tamil It does Pies. not. It, does not. It, it, it looks it, like it, that's they, adjusted that's right, off it's adjusted. of the penalty. So we're starting at the 50-yard line. Hadn't seen that before, but that makes sense. Otherwise, it would be a bit of a loophole in the rule. Maybe. First yep. All right. We got a half-filled drill here with a minute, 37 seconds left. I'd like to see Jake in there a little bit more on offense. I think we've talked about this on other game in other games as well. We like, yeah, we love him in the backfield to mix it up between Connor and Ethan and Jake. The rotation's always interesting to see from week to week how it adjusts. Andrew in motion. Braden gets out of a tackle, throws a bit of a duck out himself to the right there. Did a good job to evade the tackler, buy himself some time. Yep, nice job to elude the elude the sack. Throws in a safe no, incompletion, the stops the clock. I think Coach wants the Jake in for Tavy. Sound like there might have been a little bit of miscommunication on where Tavy was supposed to go once the play broke down. Seems like it. Second down, a minute and a half left. Ball still at the 50-yard line. Tight formation again with Andrew Gordon. Just steps off the, the right tackle. Nice play to Lachlan Henley. Well done. Brings up a 15, first down. 15, 16 yards. That was smooth. They're moving quickly here. I'd like to see, you know, that's what Tam was doing in the first, with the first series or two. We, is that we were getting right back on the ball, and then we slowed the game down a little bit. Ethan in the backfield. Oh, he just lost his a, footing there. A little bit of a footing issue there. And probably the first timeout by Coach Lamont to stop the clock. All right, in a good spot. Wanted to see if they could take advantage of a quick snap there and get things rolling, but um, the universe had other intentions. So I here do, we go. I do like the idea of, of getting back on the ball as quickly as possible. I think that, mm -hmm. you know, both team has athletes, but I think we're a little bit quicker. And let's take advantage of that quickness. Let's not let their defense set up so much. Agreed. Let's see what happens here on second and then third down if they're prepared with a couple of plays in the kit, so to speak, so they can get up and keep going. Keep Redwood on its heels. Mm -hmm. 
Ball's going to be at the 34, 30, 33 yard line, it looks like. Timo, you've all out on the left edge. Tons of time still. 114 left on the clock. I think we still have, I think Tam still has two timeouts left. Is that Connor or Ethan? Looks like 44, 44 Connor. Connor. Andrew's out on an island here. Braden gets the snap, looks down the middle, looks right down to Andrew. Nope, a little shorter. That was to Lachlan. Slightly off alignment with uh, Just with missed there. there. Yep. Locke definitely had probably five or ten more yards in him if, he, if he's able to, to haul that one in. But that's a tough, that was a tough pass. Braden led him a little bit too much there. Minute nine, so haven't taken a lot of time off the clock. It's third and ten. And it's four down territory. It's interesting, given what's going to happen here at halftime, if uh, got to get the completion. You want the clock to keep running. You got to get the completion. Or run it. Jake wide open. And a face mask. I don't know if they maybe, saw the ref saw it, but it certainly not. looked like it. Great first down. Again, the Jake Sun running up to the line. Minute three. Clock stopped. Timeout Redwood. Timeout Redwood. That's the right call. You really want to make sure you keep 14-7 here if you're Redwood. You know, try to get yourself organized. Seven, but you can't. You can't. You know, this is the this is the benefit of Cam's being able to go hurry up, and Redwood's got to stop it. And we've got the ball first and goal at the six. First and goal at the six yard line. Sounds about right. So this is where you probably run the ball at player two. Make sure you finish it off with a touchdown and leave almost nothing on the clock. You've got. Uh, our man Trevor Koo getting his apparatus in place. Gonna get some practice in. Then we got Jake Sun here getting a little uh, a little Gatorade. The boys are jacked up, ready to go. We're gonna get underway here. First and goal from the six, seven, something like that. We've got Tavy and Timo split out left. Andrew down here on the right. Connor fades out. Andrew back to the corner of the end zone, just out of his ability to bring it in. So the clock doesn't keep moving. Well defined it by Wilson Schwartz. You know, after the first Andrew Gordon large completion, Andrew Schwartz, number five, has actually done a really nice job yep. out there uh, as a defensive back. Trevor's finding some practice space on the sideline. Getting ready for hopefully a PAT. So we've got Braden Google. moving. This is a Wildcat situation. Braden is Braden's out there. out to the left. Jake, Jake and Connor in the backfield. Jake's going to get the direct snap. Uh, Timeout. Uh, uh, Timeout by Redwood. Redwood did not like that set. Cool. Yep. So... I don't know if that was specifically to try to get Redwood to burn a timeout. May or have been. if they were May have been. prepared they do have to that, run a play. They do have that play in the bag. I say that play, but they have that well, formation in the bag. You know, Jake's had experience in the Wildcat for sure. We've had a lot of success with it. I haven't seen a ton of it this year, but last year it was there towards the end of the season. Last year we were sort of forced to do it with, yep, uh, yep. with Braden getting hurt. That's right. Jake probably played more Wildcat quarterback than he wanted to last year. Yep. But yeah. it's let's gonna, remember. It's there. Last year against Redwood, Jake had over 200 yards of yeah. all-purpose yardage playing that position. May have been so. Uh, may have been the biggest stats game of his career. Probably one of the best for an MCAL non-quarterback offensive player. That sounds like it would be right. Let's see what we're going to do here again. Now so we're now we're looking at the more traditional. Traditional setup. Braden in the backfield. Nope. nope. We have Lachlan here. Lachlan coming in as quarterback with Braden out to the right. Lachlan, you think this is going to be a keeper for Lachlan because he loves think. the contact and they're spreading it out. No holding. Oh, they did see the holding there. They did see the holding. No, they saw the holding. 44 and 71. Not sure who they're going to pin and it on. And I think Lachlan may have just gone past the line of scrimmage. Holding penalty there they pick up early. These are tough calls by the offensive coordinator and the coach. Traditionally... 
it seems like these would be plays that, you know, maybe it's a fourth quarter where you really need to score type of call to make. I mean, I think right here with a minute to go, you kind of probably better play off the, keeping it a little bit play traditional. Play within the tackles, you know. We've had maybe we've less cute, so I mean to speak. They've done such a nice job of, of, of moving the ball. Yeah, methodically, traditionally. It's good to mix it up, but a little, little, little complexity here. Too much nuance, perhaps. And look, let's face it; those are these are not plays that the uh, that the offense gets a lot of reps in. Yeah. So when you're here in, in you know live time, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to to put it together. So we're still just under a minute left in the game. Can't criticize the creativity, though. There's a holding pal penalty on the offense. So there's a, a two, penalties two penalties declined. declined. And then, of course, the worst of the three in terms of yardage, Let's see what they're moving the ball off. back. I think it's going to be a 15-yarder. Was it unsportsmanlike? It was a personal foul. Personal foul. Blindside block. So now here we are. Foul, Where so are we? Second, second and goal, goal from the 21-yard line, 22-yard line. Yard line. With, look at this, with Andrew. just 50 seconds left. This is a poster you want at some point. You've got Andrew Gordon, Braden Young, Lachlan Henley, Connor Weisberg, and Jake's and son. Jake son. Ooh. I mean, there's your skill position. That's your, you know, your 2023 Red Tail Hawk skill position right there. They're feeling it. They're back to a traditional compressed formation. This is when good things happen. There's a lot of speed that breaks down, and Braden's anticipation is there. Andrew's in motion to the left. Braden fakes the handoff, evades a tackler, does not. The tackler stays around and doesn't leave the neighborhood. Takes Braden down at the 31-yard line. 31-yard line. Clock is nice still running. Nice job by number 54, Jackson Feinberg. Clock is still running. We're going to be third and goal from the 30. Third and goal from the 30. Clock just crosses the 30-second mark. Feels like this is two shots to the end zone, killing the clock to end half to end the half and get the ball back. About some momentum here. Braden off his back foot, throws one up deep. That to the corner to, to Timo. That was to Timo. So it's going to be fourth and goal from the 31 still with 15 seconds no, left. All right, so key for the offensive line to provide a little bit of protection to give the Braden enough time and the receivers enough time to get down to the end zone. See if they either just hunker down and try to serve as a wall or if they... Play a little ole. I feel like this so is where you try to get Lachlan Hindley the ball. At in, oh, oh, nice move by. So the uh, Redwood uh, defensive line encroachment. So we'll get five year five yards closer. Right. Here we go. Walk it up a little bit. Fourth and goal. Twenty six yard line. Thereabouts. Twenty five yard line. Gordon, Son, Hindley, broken out to the right. Weisberg and Uval to the left. Braden steps up, plenty of time. Gasses it out to Andrew Gordon. Lots of time ticking away. Well, Brought down at the six yard line, it looks like. That's interesting. 12.9 seconds left. We were at 15 and a half, so that's, that was three seconds. So we turned the ball play. over on downs. Three seconds off the clock on that play. Redwood takes the ball over on their own six-yard line. I have to assume they're just taking a knee and end the half. And, you know, Redwood's got to be feeling pretty good about only being down one score. It felt like that first quarter was completely dominated by Tam, and then Redwood's defense really stepped up in the second quarter. So we'll see what kind of adjustments both teams make at halftime to counterbalance what went on in the second quarter.
Yeah, game of two quarters so far. You're right. Uh, let's see here. You know, the last play of the first half a couple weeks ago at home was a little dicey. Let's see if San Ref there we go. Redwood, okay. There you go. Walk it off. So you've got to feel pretty good if you're Redwood. I think you feel a little disappointed if you're Tam. You feel yeah, like you probably you should have been up 21-0, 28 yeah. 7 Something like that. Left it's been the knock there. on Tam this year is an inability to put teams away. We saw that a lot yep, in yep. the early part of the season yeah. uh, where they ended up losing to one of the teams in the East Bay after being up relatively handily going into the fourth quarter. And with that, we'll take a break at halftime. We'll take a break. We'll see you back in uh, just a gif. Thanks, Scott. Turn your attention to the field and welcome the Redwood Giants varsity cheer team.
Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the center of the field and put your hands together for our Tamil Pius High School cheer team.
All right, so we're back with the kickoff. We're back to with Tavy some nourishment. Tavy takes it, finds a seam, protects the ball, levels his shoulders. 35, maybe 36 yard line coming in hot. That's what we were hoping for. Hope everybody enjoyed their halftime break. Scotty, what do you think? Critical series right here. Tam having the ball on the six yard line with a minute and a half to go at the first in the at the end of the first half and not scoring was a is probably a huge boost to Redwood. So it's really critical to come down the field and wind. put something in the end zone. Sun and wind at our back. Motion. Braden looks. Quick screen out to Looks like Timo Timo picks up a couple yards. I feel like maybe one of the wide receivers might have missed a block there. Yeah, it looked like there was a missed assignment or the uh, the secondary linebackers really just jumped all over that thing. Maybe it was a combination of the two. We've got Timo and Tavy here. TNT. You're welcome. Down on the left here. Hand off to Connor Weisberg. Levels his shoulders again. Moves a couple of playmakers out of the way. Gets to the 40-yard line. So third and six. This is where this is what Tam's defense was doing to Redwood for most of the first half, keeping them in third and longs. Jake is in, giving Connor a breather. Andrew and Lachlan split out to the right. Jake out in motion to the right. Ah, false start. False start again. Flag on the play, false start, Red Hawks. Not tracking the penalties, but there's a lot of them out there today. A little bit of an inauspicious start here in the second half for Tam. Braden's in shotgun, looks at the formation, likes what he sees, sets Jake in motion to the right, steps up into the pocket, avoids a tackler. There's a flag on the uh, play, looks, looks like to be holding. holding. Tavy gets popped as he catches it by number 18, Braden. loses his mouthpiece. <laughs> They're going to call holding on Tam. Walk it back a little bit, maybe from the spot of the foul. Looks nope, like we're going to be third and 20 now. Penalty yards racking up here. Big time. Got to be careful. There is, look, they're as costly as turnovers as they add up. They really are. 25-yard line. Here we go. We got third and a long ways to go. Clock is running. TNT broke out here on the left with uh, Jake in the backfield. Off to Braden's left on a tight left sideline. We're overloaded left with Locke and Andrew, I believe, up on the right. This looks like an lock play in for motion. Andrew. Off his back foot again. Underthrown. Intercepted, intercepted by number, by number five. five. Saw Braden there. Oh, leaning back at Teeny Bill. Number five has done a really good job in the second half. Or in the I'm sorry, in the first half. Wilson Schwartz. So we've seen a couple underthrown balls that have really come back to hurt Tam thus far. We'll see if we can make some adjustments there as we work our way through the game. Defense coming up big again. So let's go defense. This Battle is a big, a big one. This is the big middle part of the journey. Again, opening up that first quarter, Tam was lights out. Second quarter until now, it's been pretty even. Right through the tackles. Bit of a scrum holds things up at the 44-yard line. Sean Kinneen picks up four, as we said. Just about to the 45-yard line. Oscar Armour here on our close side. Great first half with that INT that he laid out for and a, a really good pop to put the fear of Oscar into, uh, into some of that wide receiver core. Tam's really got to do something to change the momentum of this game. Really, since the, the last two minutes of the first half and the beginning of this second half, has really the momentum has really favored Redwood. 
Handoff again up the middle. Oh, nice job by number seven, Matteo Pardee, breaking right through the line and meeting Sean Kanea Kanean in the backfield. All right, so third, third and long. And this is a, a big down third for long. both teams, really. Watch for David Anderson, Jake Butler. And I'm sure on John Redwood side, Wilborn. they're going to be looking for Jackson Walker or uh, Carter Bowman. Vasquez back. Shotgun gets the snap. Looks at some crossing routes. Lays a duck out there. Looking for the flag and a very, a very, very late, late flag, flag comes in from the backfield as it looked like there may have they been. They rolled number 22, Sean Kaneen, out of the backfield. And because the ball was so underthrown, Kaneen saw it and tried to come back towards it and ran into the defensive back, number 34, Wyatt Leach. And Wyatt's being penalized for that with a pass interference. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Which creates a first down. Unfortunate series of events there. Working on uh, turn around and look at the ball is kind of a tough thing to do there on that linebacker assignment. But was that a 15 yarder or is that a spot of the foul penalty? Because they moved the ball 20 yards, it looks like. Bounces it outside. They've done a great job of uh, fainting the, through the tackles and then bouncing it out to the outside there. They did it again, Redwood. Scott, that was a really favorable spot, it seemed like. It may have been, yeah, 10 yards beyond the spot of the foul. That's what it looked like. I mean, we, so were, th we were third and 11 from the 40-yard line, and all of a sudden we're starting on the other 40. So here we go. Second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Taking a bit of a pause in the action here. No timeout, but Redwood's collecting itself. Let's see what kind of formation they come out with. Well, they've still got our man Jackson Walker up top left against Oscar, it looks like. Vasquez in the shotgun. Collapsed, gets the snap. Handoff again. Oh, fumble! Fumble, ball is out, and it looked like we could have recovered it. Lost it, but ultimately recovered it again the defense so we had Leon Tierney come up and stand stand Sean Kanin up tall and I wasn't able to catch who came in and knocked the ball loose it may have been Mateo, Mateo Pardee but somebody came in there and just packed a wallop on Sean Kanin and caused the turnover fantastic job huge play for Tam Jake Butler getting a lot of props there from folks May have ultimately come up with some big, big component of the play there. Again, we'll watch the replay on TAM TV later tonight for sure. All right, so the, so we generate a turnover. Let's see what the offense can do. Redwood's done a good job of quieting the TAM offense for the last quarter and a half. Ooh. And again, right there, number 54 for Redwood, Jackson Feinberg. We've called his name a couple times. Steps through the line and makes a tackle for no gain. Read that, anticipated, and was on it the second the ball was in his gut. Second and 10. Coming up on seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. Timo Yuval split out left. No handoff. Watch. Pressure from Braden. Floats it over the top Whoa! to Andrew Gordon. That time, right into the... Uh, Right into the throw, not off his back foot. What an incredible Stepped play. Up. Braden had just enough time. Just Took enough one time. step to his right to create the time. The offensive line did their job in holding off Redwood. And then you just let Andrew Gordon do what he does. Fabulous, fabulous execution. Launch right. that ball. Let Andrew run underneath it. And there you have a 70-yard touchdown. Wheels took over. The arc on that ball was great. Almost on a rope. Really, really was a tight trajectory. Matched the speed of Andrew at the point of uh, reception. Nicely done by Braden. He had, under, in there. he had underthrown on the interception on the previous series. No. And to come in and step up and make sure he got that ball where only Andrew could run under it. Trevor has really just clicked into gear in the last handful of games from the start of the season. His technique and his execution are on lock, machine repeat. So this is the chance. This is where we look for a three and out. 
and try to get that. Let's extend the lead and put Redwood away. We got some cramps going on here. Tam has never won by more than 14 points in this series over the last 20 years. Let's see if we can make that happen today. And it starts with this defensive series for Tam. Defense is hunkered down, come up with two big turnovers. If and as we contain the offensive penalties, that math works out that you're just talking about to see another a bit of a spread here. Trevor back. The onside kick is there. Ooh, well handled by number. Number 32. 32. Demo or Demo Givas or Givas. Sorry about the pronunciation. DG in the house. Getting it done. Interesting play call by the not, TAM coaching staff. And not shocked by it. We've seen we've seen the onside. They love they love to mix it up and Trevor has been consistently booting it back there for touchback status and uh, why not mix it up I guess is what was going Feels through Feels like mind. maybe they were thinking about going for the dagger as well. Reminds me of the Saints, Colts maybe, Super Bowl coming out to start the second half with an onside kick. If you're Redwood this is where you go for a dagger right back and you go for something deep. Jake is on alert, linebackers are on alert, Oscar's ready to rock, Vasquez claps, gets the snap, little dump screen to the right, Jake comes up Makes a hard hit low with Oscar cleaning up after him. A gain of seven. seven. So a nice play. And here the, here's Redwood because of the onside kick. Redwood at the 50-yard line. First and seven. So great field position. Seven yards. Second yeah. and three. A nice pickup of seven. Sean Kaneen has really done yeoman's work today for the Redwood Giants. Cody back at his 45, oh. handoff. This is number 25 right up stepping the middle. through the line. Ooh. Number we 25, Ronan Z Zame. Ronan Zane, we were looking for a little uh, strip there almost. Clock running, and a Redwood, quasi hurry up. Nope, they're heading into a huddle here. Leon Turney out on the left hash here, anchoring that linebacker crew with Mateo Party, and is Wyatt in right now? Wyatt's in right now, it looks like, maybe not, let's see. 12, Brendan. Brendan Steinhofer here on Jackson Walker, watch it. Looks like- A nice uh, hit by in Leon. Oh, Leon Tierney stepping up with another nice hit. Good anticipation. Looks like it was a maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe. Catch by number three. Good wrap. Was it three on three? Second and nine. Number three is, oh, Carter Bowman. Carter Bowman out here. Now he's split out to the right. And Caden Berenger is going to match up against Carter. Vasquez has got uh, everybody in line. Right hash mark. Clap. Hand off to oh, number 25. Nicely done. Caught behind the line of scrimmage by number 55, John Welburn. We hear his name a lot during the game. And we did finally find out who number 51 is. DJ Hopkins, who had had a tremendous first half. So glad that we could figure that out and finally give him a shout out. Bit of a wrecking crew out there. Um, DJ and certainly John. So here we go. Big third down for both teams, really. Tam gets a stop, gets the ball back. Third and 10 with 4.45, ticking off the clock. Watch this defensive line get after it. They send some extra pressure. It's picked up nicely. Oh, and who read jumped that? that? Number 11, Ryder Covey Ryder jumped that. Covey. He saw that one coming. Vasquez eyed his receiver the entire time. And another turnover for the Tam High defense. Ryder Covey fired up. Great to see the TAM defense step up in this game. Twice now in the second half. Big, big turnovers. They're really having a game. 
that unit is having a game. And now let's have the offense. And I'll tell you. As have the offense give a big thank you by scoring a touchdown. Seems appropriate. It seems like the right, the right gift for any occasion, really. So let's see what Braden can do here, standing on his 40-yard line. Timo in motion, fakes the hand off to Timo, but gets it out to Jake, Jake. able to keep his legs wow. underneath him, pick up a that couple was, few yards. Nicely played by number six, I think that might have been. Yeah, number six, Van Hampton, just tripped Jake up, because if he didn't, Jake was probably going to the house. Ball sitting at about the 32, 33 yard line. Tight formation here, Timo Urell. Set in motion left to right. Hand Inside, off to Connor Weisberg. Little stutter step, picks up a couple yards or so, getting to the 31 maybe. 32. Looked like we were picking our spots a little too much there. Yeah. I like the way earlier the running backs were a little bit more aggressive between the tackles, just trying to get upfield, downhill as they like to call it. Yeah. Agreed, a different feel, patient, which works sometimes, but let's see what happens here. So we've got third and six, maybe. This feels like four down territory. If you're willing to do an onside kick and give Redwood that type of field position, this feels very much like four down Take territory. Take the hand off to Connor. <gasps> Over the middle, that's a lot of time. A great pass. What a great pass. To number five, to Andrew, Andrew Gordon. Gordon. So right in the bread basket again. Caught in stride. Wilson well Schwartz caught, caught just behind that one, and Braden dropped it in perfectly. Another and dime. nicely done by Andrew to maintain the focus and bring that one in. So we're at the margin, approaching the margin you've talked about. We're about to be 21 points up if Trevor can put this through. So 20 points right now. And a seesaw of efficiency back and forth with Tam High's defense continuing to give our offense opportunity. Trevor put a little extra something into that one. Everyone's fired up. Well, the Hawks, truly team effort, right? Both sides of the ball doing a good job of what's necessary to win football games. And why not when it's what you probably consider to be the biggest football game of your season so far? Cross-town rival, loads of history, and some evening out to do in the scales throughout time here. Coming into this game, 12-5 and five advantage to Redwood. 17 games over 19 or so years. A couple of years without games in there. So, this is the season that counts for this team, and they seem like they've prepared themselves to rise to the challenge here. Trevor talking it over with the special teams crew. And, you know, there have been games where Scotty kickoff unit has uh, has has done nothing other than sort of trick uh, plays. So let's see. How the, so the ball is so the ball set is on the tee as if we're doing something special here. Could just be a... Yes, sir. Going for it again. Really, really interesting. Squibby through. Picked up number five. Clean hit. Hard hit, game of football being uh, put on display there for everybody. Number 52, Cole Kramlich on the hit there. Uh, Cole's had a day out there. Cole's he had a day out there. This defense now, three turnovers? Are we counting that right? Three we are. Turnovers. Three turnovers. We've had two interceptions and a forced fumble. And we've got to think that you know, Redwood's on their heels. This is, this is your chance to really put the game away. And we've talked about this earlier where at times this year, Tam has had a hard time putting games away. Watch this one right so here. this Watch is an opportunity. For Watch for the shot. Good. Six in motion. Quick pop pass to six coming around. Jake, or who was that? Number shot 11 that. shot through there and just missed. Ryder Covey just missed that tackle. Turns out to be a very positive play for Redwood. A gain of 11. Ryder was on a bullet train there. I thought he was going to blow him up. Number five coming up. A, Wilson Schwartz coming up a little gimpy. Or number six, actually. That's Van Hampton coming up a little gimpy after that one. Will Zakevich was going to go in but stays on the sideline. 
So here we are again though, first and 10 at the 50 yard line. Redwood with good field position and we'll see how Tam's defense can respond. Brendan Steinhofer here on an island. Fake the handoff up the middle to 22, 20, number 25, 25 it looks like. Uh, Ronan Zame gets a couple of yards. Looks like they've been rotating Ronan in with, uh, with Sean Kaneen who is again on the sidelines for this play. Ryder Covey comes out to take a breather. Jake Sun, Caden Berenger, Brendan Steinhofer, Oscar Armour, there's your secondary. Looks like we have a uh, equipment failure for number 18, Oscar Armour. So a quick could be a bit of whistle, hel helmet apparatus, or maybe a couple of pieces of helmet you know, apparatus. Like they're going to have to put someone in. So in comes Ryder Covey while they work on Oscar's helmet on the sidelines. Apparatorum. So now Caden Berenger is assigned the task of covering Low Jackson snap. Walker. Vasquez gets it, dumps off to the outside screen to number four, Jackson Walker. So a nice play by Caden. Keep that play in front of him. It's a gain of three or four. Gonna bring up, and like here we are, third, third and, and five, third five, and six, six. again. So, you know, Redwood's been in this position a fair amount this game. And I think so far, really, Red uh, Tam has won the battle. Jackson Walker out here with uh, Oscar Armour. Let's watch this duo. Watch the slant we're looking at here. Yep, cuts inside. Slant across, lots of pressure. Oh! Jake was bolting on that. So we had coverage by Jake Sun coming up from a safety position and Wyatt, Wyatt Leach. was in there, yep. So this brings up fourth and six from the TAM 45, 46 yard line. Looks like Redwood is going to go for it. Down three scores, you probably don't really have a choice at this point. 46 yard line here. Fourth and six. So they leave Jackson Walker on, on an island by himself, and then they do trips down low, led by the tight end, motion, Carter Bowman. Motion to the right. Vasquez sees it. There's some good pressure. Easy completion, seemingly. Ah, uh, we've got a Tamai Hawk on the coverage there, grasping at his hamstring. I think that might have been Oscar Armour. A nice ball delivered by Cody Vasquez there. Outside shouldered it. Jackson Walker, pretty sure hands out there for Redwood. We talked about that being both playing both sides of the ball, defensive back and special teams as the receiver on kickoffs and punts. Created the space, turned back, made it look pretty easy as you mentioned. So it looks like maybe a cramp that we're dealing with for Oscar as they try to stretch yeah. out, stretch him out. Yeah, tear is not gonna be treated like that. So it looks like a cramp, something just tightened up. Hope he's gonna be all right, let's give him a breather. Gives both teams the opportunity to collect themselves. Looks like Zame Ronan out there again. You mentioned the platooning that's going on there. Oscar is up, making his walk across the field. So hopefully they've got some uh, icy hot maybe. Not sure what they've got over there, but keep it. Get him some Gatorade. Get rid of that. Get him or some dirt on it and just, you know, here we go, Oscar. Stacked receivers down here on the right. Vasquez, snap, looks down the middle. Incomplete, Ooh. nice play. Who is number 23? Caden Berenger. Came up right as the ball arrived. Great timing. That was to number six, Van Hampton, who's now hobbling off. Little discombobulation again. 
Redwood, they are going to settle in and recover, though. they got plenty of time pre-snap. Defensive line shows four down, sends four. Get some all right pressure. Ball's out of bounds, it looks like, at the 23-yard line. 24, maybe 25. Marshall Thomas on the catch there. A nice ball, well delivered by Cody Vasquez. Redwood seems to have had a fair amount of success on those out patterns. So third and a couple, clearly at four down territory. Oh, it's third and five, actually. Third and five from the 25. Vasquez shotgun. Zame Ronan up the middle for looks like downhill running there again. Eight or nine yards, maybe. Nice play call there, mixing it up a little bit. Yep. Hard driving run. Resulting in it. Redwood first down. David Anderson over here on the sideline. Wonderful member of the defensive unit. Will Zukavich just came out. Number 53 just came in. We don't have 53s. Mm -mm. Trips right for Redwood. Low snap. Vasquez picks it up. Has some defenders in his face. There we go. They wrap him up. Group tackle. Well First done. one there was number 54, ultimately, Jake Butler. Ultimately 53 taking him down. Basket Looks like John Wellborn was also in on the play. Jake Butler, John Wellborn, DJ Hopkins, Cole Kramlich. A lot of that unit might be in there. I wonder if Cole. I think number 53 is Mojave, actually. 53 is Mojave. So Mojave was really the one that put the pressure on the quarterback. And that's the end of the third quarter. Woo-wee. Here we go. Still sitting there at All right, so here we go at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Second down for Redwood on their 20, on the TAM 28 yard line. Quick out to the right. Oh. Quick pass to number four. Good pursuit. Got to make that open field tackle. Did get him out of Jackson bounds. Right Might have been Brendan. Brendan looks like number 12 out there. Forced the runner out of bounds. Third Change of course of direction. Yards. Third and long from the So nice job by Tam to line. string that one out. Pick up of only a couple. Obviously Redwood trying to get the ball into their, their best player's hands. One of their best player's hands, certainly Jackson Walker. David Anderson was on and off the field there quickly. Caden Berenger's out here with Wyatt. Low snap, bobbled. Vasquez falls on it. Wisely. Snap bobbled by number 11. Quarterback Vasquez falls in it for a loss of about five. Vasquez may have had enough time to pick that one up, but in the heat of the moment, it's always hard to, to determine. A lot easier for, for to be to say that up here. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. He may may have had enough time. Um, but mm. so Jackson Walker comes off the field limping a little bit, replaced by number 22, Sean Kaneen. Oh, yeah, there he goes. I see him on the sideline. He's going to go take a take a seat. All right, Vasquez sitting on his 39. Low snap again. Takes care of it. Steps up in the pocket. Right down the middle. No one there. Oh, There's a flag. They throw a flag. It was either a, a 
contact or a pass right interference. We'll find out. Either way, I believe those this are automatic one, first downs. This one you see some of the TAM defenders a little befuddled, and I didn't quite see what happened there. We'll watch the replay again tonight, but seemed like some solid coverage. And uh, regardless, they're going to. So it still looks like it's fourth down. Got it. It must have been a little illegal contact. Five yards. So it's still. Third. Looks like they got 10 yards off of the penalty. So it's fourth and seven ish. Fourth and seven, it looks like. No. Oh. No. Yeah, you're right. Fourth and. 15. Long ways to go. Vasquez steps up over the middle to a slanting receiver. Ooh. Nice tackles by number. Another flag comes in by Jake Sun and number 12, Brendan Steinhofer. Another flag comes in. Looks like looks, they're moving. Looks us, like it's against Tam. Tam Frustrating. They're going face right. mask. That's a tough one, folks. Face mask. Tough which one. Is, leads to a first down. Face mask, Red Hawk. Result for the Redwood first down. First and goal. Well, that just breathed a little bit of light life back into the Redwood Giants. Look for a turnover here from the Tam High defense. Downhill speed. Zame Ronan. Mateo Pardee in on the tackle, along with a couple of the linemen. Look for them to keep pounding that play. Trips left. One more time up the middle you expect here. There was a lot there. See if the line can get to where he's going to go. Oh, what a great Nicely jump. done by, by Mateo Pardee to jump through the line there. Party. Will Zukavich giving a breather there, maybe to Cole Kramlich. So backed him up a teeny bit. Here we go, third and goal from the six. Two out left, Island on the right. Low snap picked up. Back a corner of the end zone. Nothing in that, no flag. Respectable call. Fourth and goal well defended by Brendan Steinhofer. He was looking at the ball the whole time, which was probably one of the reasons that they kept the, the flag in the pocket. Because there was definitely some contact back there. You're right. He was going to go for the ball as well. Defensive scheme getting called in right now. we got Dave Anderson here still stretching out the hamstring, it looks like, or a calf. Here we go, here we go. Defensive adjustments. Line's getting ready. Vasquez sees what he sees. Shotgun, low snap, picked up. Screen out to the right. Oh, it's bobbled by number 25. 25. Looks like he was running just before he caught that ball because had he caught it, Wide that would have been that a touchdown. Seven. That's a, that is a costly gaff. That's a for big, Redwood. That's, big play for. That, that's a big seven point swing and let's see if we can make it 14 point swing. Alrighty, so nine and a half minutes, up by 21. We take over on the six yard line. Nine and a half minutes left, up 21. Heading into daylight, let's see what they can do here and close this one out. This is where we, where we need our offensive line to really take control so that we can run the ball with some effectiveness and run the clock. They fake a reverse to Andrew Gordon, and it looks like that's uh, Ethan, no, Connor Weisberg probably up the middle there. And Braden Self, the pulling guard, did a great job opening up a lane. Braden's been out there, Braden Self moving mountains today to open those lanes. Redwood on their heels. I like Tam's pace. Braden sees what he sees. Again, sets Andrew in similar reverse motion. And again, they run the handoff this time to Ethan Koo. 
off the right tackle and gets out for another gain of a couple few yards. Brings up third and five, maybe? Third. So we really got to give credit to this offensive line today, I think. Kaleo Morris, Brendan Self, Hayden Perkins. Giving Braden the time and the receivers the time to get downfield. Oh, flag on the play. Maybe another one against uh, Ball Start. Maybe the fourth one today, fifth thereabouts. Number 54 for Redwood down. Grasping called, his called that name shin, today. leg. That would be Jackson Feinberg. Oh, yeah. Who's definitely been in on a bunch of. Jackson's been in there. So while we have an injury break on the field, probably a good time to thank TAM TV, the TAM Boosters, for putting this together. Also announcement for the TAM High Varsity Girls Volleyball Team, who will be playing tonight at Gus Gym against the Crosstown Rival University High School for the NCS Championship. That is a huge matchup this evening at 7 o'clock over at Gus Gym. This um, is a grudge match. Last year, mm -hmm, University mm -hmm. was able to knock Tam out in the semifinal of the NCS championships. So a big, history. big match going on tonight at 7 o'clock at Gus Gym. Get your tickets early. Get there. Get a good seat. Bring your popcorn. Coach Lamont's got his trips left spread out looks like Braden may be able to roll out to his left he oh, oh and he does shoestring catch by Lachlan Henley well as Braden's able to get the ball out just as he's pulled down fabulous Braden way to step up and dump that off where only Lachlan could catch it and he did clock running First and 10 at the 21-yard line, Tam. Timo and Tavy split out left. Andrew here off the right end. Hand off to Jake. Jake oh. hits the hole hard out to the 30-yard line. Nice kick out blocks by both Andrew Gordon and Lachlan Henley. Jake almost ran into Lachlan a little bit there. I think had he not bumped into Lachlan, he may have been gone again tell you Hayden Perkins there pulling outside to help seal things off with Kaleo Morris that offensive line is mobile and they're hungry to pick up those yards for their uh, for their running backs Gordon in motion back to Jake off the right edge holds on to the ball with a little bit of a spin move out to the 35 and there was number 76 Braden self pulling out opening up a hole for Jake Keeping the clock running, chewing up yards, and importantly, chewing up time. Getting out from the shadow of their own end zone. Now you've got decent field position on your own 35, first and 10. Connor Weisberg again. Strong up to the line of scrimmage and bounce back just a little bit. Probably going to get him back to the line of scrimmage. Coach Collin plays into Andrew Gordon and the rest of the team. They do seem poised, and let's see if they can keep it going here. At this point, it looks like Coach is basically challenging Redwood to stop the run. And if they can't do that, this game is ostensibly over because we'll just chew the clock out. Braden shotgun. Looks like Timo up top, split left. Braden, toss. Ooh, a helmet to helmet. Definitely a helmet to helmet there. Not helmet sure helmet. how the referees missed that one. Tackle by number 18, Ronan Ralston. But a nice play, getting Lachlan Henley coming over the middle. 
Refs have done a really good job all day today. You want to see them clean that stuff up just a teeny bit. They've been doing great work out there. Just make sure everybody stays safe. Way to hold on to that, Lachlan, and uh, move the chains. So 47-yard line, first and 10. The poised drive continues. Braden surveys the landscape, gets the snap right off to Connor Weisberg again, back to the playbook they've been running through the tackles for a big bang and six there, quick. Nicely done, nicely done again by that offensive line, opening up the holes, giving the running backs a chance to gain some positive yards going downhill. And now, Tam, not a hurry up, but they know the plays, they know the cadence they're in, and they're feeling like a flow is just happening. Braden, snap, shotgun again. Off to Connor, who just barrels down a couple of players. I see a late, late flag in there. Looks like a face mask against Redwood. Let's see if I caught it early. Number 34, foul. Ben Harp. Oh, that uh, looks like uh, targeting, maybe, helmet to helmet. Number 34, Ben Harp, came up to make the tackle. I think he was the one that probably accidentally had the helmet to helmet, but he definitely took the worst of that collision. He did, as Connor was able to maintain his feet and gain another four or five yards. And Ben was a little bit slow getting up there. But give him credit, he's still back in the game at his linebacker position. Connor again, shoulders down, punishing that defensive line gap, and the, the linebackers are getting to know him so well today. Ethan Koo coming in to give Connor a break. Well deserved. Ball now at the 15 yard line. Ethan Koo, Koo Koo Kachu, the train I mean, just the keeps running. The Tam running backs are just picking up big chunks of yards at this point. And now we have another 40, Redwood player down. 42? Number 82, 82? Eddie Lynn, 82. it looks like. Andrew Gordon coming back on the field. He's got some messages coming in from the coaches that he's delivering to the folks in the huddle. Well, give the Tam offensive line a lot of credit for this drive. They've done a great job of creating space and time for Braden when necessary to make the pass. They've done a great job of opening up holes and allowing the offensive running backs, whether it's Trevor, sorry, Ethan or Connor, to hit those holes hard and pick up some large chunks of yardage. I mean, they have systematically moved down the field from the 15-ish to the opposite end of the spectrum. So let's see if they keep that consistency going. Braden, really touchdown. nice touch pass to the back corner, maybe to Andrew. Is that another Andrew Gordon touchdown? Oh, that's actually number that was 88, Timo, Timo Ural Timo. with the catch. Couldn't tell if Andrew uh, was back there in the corner, but great touch pass by Braden to the end zone. Floated up in the corner. So now we've extended the lead, 34 to seven. Trevor's about to come out. While he can't pick up yards out of the backfield, he can pick up another successful PAT. Snap is back. And, and it right is- Right down the middle, splitting the uprights again. as they say. Really well done, Trevor. Great job by the offensive line, Braden. So 35-7, 3.55 left to go in the fourth quarter. Have to feel pretty good about saying that this time, Tam was really able to shut the door and close out a game when it was a little shaky at one point at the beginning of the third quarter. Yep. Yep, they hung in there. The, that second quarter was a bit of a back and forth battle. The third quarter had its moments. But uh, towards the end of the third quarter, all the way through now, they've uh, they found their stride again. Huge so kudos to the defense. Yeah. Three, turnovers, Three turnovers, really stepping up when Tam needed it most. 
Three turnovers and that big turnover on downs there at the end. Well, yeah, that's right. When Zane, Zane just couldn't hang on to it. And those things have to happen sometimes. They go your way. Let's see. At this point, you expect uh, a traditional kickoff at this point up 35-7. 21-7, maybe a little bit. This, is, this you expect something traditional. Nope. Oh, might have been offside. Somebody jumped right in front just a teeny bit. All right, so the old do-over with a little penalty added on. Flag on the play, offsides on the kickoff. Trevor's calling it into the guys again. At 35-7, I feel like it probably makes most sense to just kick this one off. I agree with you. I think they're going to onside it again. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 47. We really trust in the defense. Look, we've let up seven points all day today. I guess when you look at the stats, I guess that's it, right? He's thinking. Coach and the staff are thinking, let's get the ball back. Um, if there were post-game interviews, it would be one of the questions I'd like to ask the yeah. coach. 35-7, yeah. three and a half to go. What's, what's he thinking there? Giving his players a chance to, to, you know, maybe maybe run it up a little bit, put some points on the board, end the game almost. Maybe he's thinking, I can end the game or give up seven. I'll, I'll, I'll risk it. I'd love to ask that question. In his face, Vasquez stays poised, delivers oh, a nice catch strike to number six, brought out of bounds at the 25, 26-yard line. Six, Looks like we're maybe getting some other players in the game. 21, Peter Ver Vermali, Vernali in the game. Number 50, Will Zukavich back in the game on the defensive line. Oh, wheel route out of the backfield to Zane. No, that's to uh, number 22. Oh, that's man, 22. Sean Kaneen. Sean was lighting it up early on. Step back a bit. There's a quick seven. Redwood, touchdown. They're, uh, let's see, are they going to go for two? I don't know if the math works out or the situation does, really. Nope. Again, lefty boot here. Try to make it 35-14. Tam would still be up 21 points. That only took about 30 seconds off the clock, that if that. That was fast. Mm -hmm. Oop. Excellent two-point conversion. And an conversion. unintended two-point conversion. Broken play. The snap was low. Bobbled. But uh, Jackson Walker with the uh, terrific pass. Jackson Walker to Carter Bowman. To Carter Bowman. Now let's see what the uh, onside kick unit looks like here for Redwood. You know that's got to be coming at this point. They want to close the gap at the very least. I don't know if they have intention of surpassing Tam's total points right now, but they want to get it close. They want to close the gap and fight till the end. So let's get ready for an onside kick here and see what happens. Onside units ready. Not sure which way they're kicking. Ah, well Nicely done. Nicely done. Well recovered by number 54, Jake Butler, I think. Yep. Jake Butler, fantastic. Onside Good hands. Soft and controlled. So one first, 
if we get one first down, maybe two, this game's over. I imagine we'll just be looking to run the ball. Red will probably stack the box. 338 left. Ball at the 48 yard line. Braden gets the snap. Right back to our man Connor Weisberg over the 45 yard line, maybe the 44. I'll spot him just at about the 45 yard line. Coach Lamont calling the plays in. You expect there to be another run through the tackles or bounce it outside just or bounce it outside. We'll see. Continue to depend on that offensive line to do the work. Cole Kramlich, Hayden Perkins, Braden Self. Connor in motion to the left. Braden. Again, inside that inside screen, screen that time. To Lachlan. To Lachlan. Loves taking the, loves taking the contact. Earing the first down. They're moving the chains. That's that play from before that was sniffed out. That's right. But this time, look. The I think it was sniffed lines. out by number 82, wasn't that? I think so. I think that might have been Eddie Lynch. Had That's right. That's right. All right. Timeout. Ref. Uh, Stripes calls a timeout. Yep. Number 25 coming off the field. Ronan Zame coming on the field. Number 34, Ben Harp, to take his spot at the linebacker position. All right, here we go, Braden. First and 10. Lachlan in motion. No handoff. Ooh, I love this play. Let's see if it develops. A little bubble screen. That was really to, well designed. Is that to Timo again? I believe it's Timo. Let's see. It's hard to tell you the numbers out there. Yeah, the yeah. Eight, yep. For first down. That was great. Send Lachlan in motion. Out there is another blocker. Well designed play. Linebacker couldn't slide quickly enough, so they had an extra blocker to got the, the five, seven yards plus. So it seems as though Tam is intent on trying to score here yeah. with less than three minutes to go and winning by 21. Ethan Koo between the tackles picks up probably five-ish. Let's see where they give him the spot. Ethan Koo between the tackles for a game of about five. Second yeah, five second and five here at the 16. Andrew Gordon, Andrew Gordon. Let's see if we've got a drop to the back of the end zone here. He's on the far right with lots of space. They go the other side back of the end zone. Ooh, Timo looks like he leapt up, almost got his hands on it. Just in and out of his hands. Tough grab as he's trying to pirouette in the air. Falling away from the ball. Great effort. Um, good touch pass by Braden. Interesting play call money. when you're, I guess you're just not really trying to run the clock out when you're trying to score. Minute and a half, third and ten. Mm. Ethan oh, gets wrapped up. 44 came up. Miles Harrison did a nice job coming up from his linebacker position. No gain brings up a fourth and five. Fourth and five. Trevor was ready. Trevor was ready. He's saying, give me, give me it, coach. I got the three points. Let's see what they do here. You never know. We could have a timeout in front of us. Could have a lot of things happen. But Trevor, I love the confidence. Sometimes kickers are standing back on the sideline. And he was ready to run out there. Love that. All right, let's see what happens here. If we try to get him to jump, if anybody calls a timeout, or if we put some points on the board. Got him to jump, but they jump back. Looks like we're going to call a timeout. I think so. And, and coach we're says, on the field goal unit. calm, cool, and collected. Trevor Koo heading out to throw three up on the board. Getting some props from uh, Andrew Gordon. Everybody loves when their kicker's out there on fire. So this is a good distance. 
This is a good distance. This will be fun to see Trevor get after this one. I wonder if we're looking at maybe a, a record for Trevor. This is a personal best. Points in a game? Personal best uh, distance-wise. Distance for a field goal and maybe, yeah, I think so. Where are we spotting the ball? 15-yard uh, line. So it's a 32-yarder. 17 yards, 7 for the snap and 10 for the end zone, I think. I've always got like the, the the late night college Madden play calling. I'm thinking I'm thinking fake field goal, something crazy, like a rugby play. Let Trevor, Trevor's fired up. It's a long extra point. Here we go. Back down and, and it it's blocked. blocked. It's blocked. It's blocked and. Uh, Picked ball is going to be picked up and down and around the 42-yard 42 42 line. Yard line. Yep. Yep. They got a good jump on it. It was a little bit of a sloppy transfer. Not terrible, though. Looked like it was put down pretty early, but uh, but not 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 there. And credit like to Redwood. Attempt. Credit to Redwood. Certainly not giving in, right? Yep. Yep. They know they've still got 37 seconds left. It's uh, 20 points, 37 and a half seconds left. Anything can happen. You're the... Oh, Vasquez was feeling the contact, and as he threw, he stepped back tough. away from the ball. and Definitely a tough play when you're throwing back against your body. David Anderson coming off hobbling a teeny bit. John Wellborn, I mean, that... What a, what a luxury when you've got David Anderson and John Wellborn able to swing in and out on the line there. Um, so we've got we've got some uh, some soft coverage here. Make sure no big gains. Ball slung out. What a great pop there by maybe Brandon Brendan number twelve Brendan Steinhofer going to town. But still a way to wrap that up. You know, he's, he's cruising and knowing he's got it, but he followed through. Helmet up, chest up, good wrap. Clock is... Down to 19 seconds. 19, stopped with 20 points, separating the two teams here. Ball just on the Redwood side of midfield at the 49 and three-quarter. 22 seconds left on the clock, making a bit of a post-facto adjustment. Four down linemen. Linebackers are up. Wyatt's ready. Nope, he's dropping back soft. He's ready to see it on the sideline. Jackson Walker gets out of bounds at the 37. Just runs four or five seconds off. This could be it. They got first and 10 from the 38-yard line, it looks like. Vasquez back in the shotgun, gets the snap. Right over down the over middle. the middle. And nice tackle Jake, by Jake. Son. Good catch by Carter Bowman. 10 Bowman. seconds, looks like the clock stopped. First down and a timeout. Timeout, Redwood, 10.1 seconds left. Ball's going to be spotted, where would we say, the 24-yard line? 24-yard line. So this is the this is the drive for pride, right? Here we are. We've got Tam winning by 20 plus points. Tam clearly doesn't want Redwood to score. Hold it. Hold it right here. Big play. The game is for all intents and purposes already decided, but this uh, this is a big pride play. Maybe a couple. 10 seconds left, ball to 24. Vasquez in the shotgun, gets a low snap, has time, steps up in the pocket, flings one down the middle. Intercepted. And there's an interception. You may want to see him go down, and he does. 
and they let the clock run out. Nice job, intercepted by number 11, Ryder Covey. So two interceptions for Ryder Covey today. Ball game's over, fans rushing the field. Everyone's fired up on senior day here at Bruce Grant Stadium. Scotty, they did it. Game of the season for both teams, really. Well played. Huge credit to Tam's defense throughout this game. They really stepped up when Tam needed it most. When we think about Tam at the end of the first half, not scoring with the ball first and first and goal from the six. Yep. We come out, we get the ball, we have a turnover on an interception. But then the defense comes right back and creates a turnover for themselves and Tam goes down and scores a touchdown. And that really was, for all intents and purposes, the end. They battled through uh, a number of uh, phases of the game where they had penalty after penalty. And, you know, we mentioned early on they play all four quarters right down to the final play in the final seconds. Hats off to both teams, really. Excellent effort. Clean game. Nobody got hurt. Um, great respect across town rivalry here. I'm sure the coach will like to see uh, the penalties cleaned up a little bit. But overall, uh, a solid outing by Tam. The offensive line did what was necessary to allow Braden the time to work and created a bunch of, uh, a bunch of opportunities for the running game to get going, which, of course, then creates some opportunities in the passing game. I mean, Connor Weisberg just hammering through the tackles there at the end of the game along with Ethan and Jake. Coaching staff did a great job keeping the team focused this year. And uh, everybody should be proud of themselves. Well, Scotty, until next time. And that's a wrap for TAM TV football. We, as, uh, as TAM will make its way to the NCS. Um, due to NCS regulations, we're not actually able to, to video those, to broadcast those games. Those will be done by, uh, through, the, through the NCS regulatory body so johnny great season great thanks season so much such a blast scotty thanks thanks to mike and steven and justin and the rest of the crew up here in the booth we'll and, uh, uh we'll see you in the playoffs and we'll see how uh, how far tam can go in the playoffs go hawks